cruising smoothly and governing the way he campaigned. That's one perspective of Moon Jae-in's performance thus far as the president. Others note major challenges lay ahead, but all would agree he is a great communicator. The little leader's first 100 days. Here's the final installment of our Moon Gun Young's two-part series. He takes off his own jacket, brushing off an aide who tries to take it for him. He takes questions from journalists without betting them first. He carries his own lunch tray at a cafeteria and tweets about Tori, Maru, and Jingji, his adopted cats and dogs. Not only does he want more interaction with the people, he wants to communicate more with his chief aides and advisors. The president wants to hear what we have to say. He also wants to be transparent with the public. He wants to show the Korean people the bare naked face of his government. Change. Roughly 100 days ago, South Korea's elected Moon Jae-in as their new president with conviction that he's the one who can and will bring about change to the nation, to the society, to their daily lives. 100 days later, although not yet so life-changing, there are changes being seen in different parts of society. Up until three months ago, for instance, to get to this area in front of the presidential blue house, you had to go through five checkpoints. Now it's open to the public day and night. The first 100 days for Mr. Moon Jae-in as president. The past 100 days for this young democracy, the Republic of Korea. Uh, one of Mr. Moon's first moves after taking office was to attend the pro-democracy movement memorial and have this iconic song be part of the official program, reaffirming his liberal convictions. It was a symbolic closure to nearly a decade of conservative rule in Gwangju, where hundreds and possibly thousands were believed to have been killed when local citizens rose up against the military dictator Chun Doo Han on May 18, 1980, and were crushed by force. President Moon, breaking security protocol, rose from his seat, walked over, and hugged Kim So Hyun, whose father was among the hundreds killed. I was a president of the government, and I was a president of after six years of fighting for apology and compensation from the government in vain, we had given up by that time when the new president got in touch with us to invite us over and apologize. Although the apology itself did not bring about any dramatic changes, it finally brought some peace to mind. Ever since he was 14 months old, Sung Jun hasn't been able to breathe without this green oxygen tank. The 14-year-old baseball fan is one of the hundreds of victims of a toxic humidifier disinfectant that first came into light in 2011. Mm. The president sat next to Sung Jun throughout our meeting with him. You know when you just know whether this person is genuine or not when you're engaged in a conversation? The president appeared to really care about each of our stories. There was an air of warmth and ease all throughout. 
It just amazes us that one person can bring about such a big difference. The government officials there were the same people that we had been wrestling with for over five years. Everything else, everyone else, were the same. It was just one new person in office, and the way they treated us and greeted us were completely different. That makes me question their sincerity, actually. 100 days since the former human rights lawyer took office, pledging to create a nation for the people. Some South Koreans have seen change, some haven't, and some don't dare to trust again. I think it was wise of President Moon to swiftly carry out reforms that he could, for instance, scrapping plans to issue state authored history textbooks or honoring part time teachers who perished in the Seoro Ferry tragedy as deaths on duty. Job creation in the public sector is definitely welcome news for us young job seekers, but it doesn't solve the fundamental problem of youth unemployment. Ultimately, the labor market needs change to ensure more job creation in the private sector. I wasn't a huge supporter of Moon Jae-in, but I'm impressed by the president's efforts to better communicate with the people. The Kwangmun First Street campaign, where they collected policy proposals from the citizens, was especially impressive. His efforts to reach out and connect with the people, a stark contrast to his authoritarian predecessor Park Geun-hye, have helped keep his approval rating at a staggering 78 percent as he moves past his first 100 days. South Korean presidencies have a history of ending in disgrace. Elected in an unprecedented snap presidential election after a tumultuous several months of political upheaval, Mr. Moon Jae-in vowed to become a president unlike any of his predecessors. Now, that was 100 days ago. This is just the first of many 100 days for President Moon. How this nation will remember him, how history will record Moon Jae-in, the 19th president of the Republic of Korea, will depend on those many more 100 days waiting ahead.